on their feet until the Orange scores its first bucket of the night. Lee Cassell, the official at center court, to throw up the ball, and we are underway. Syracuse controls the tip. The Orange in their home white going with the old-school script lettering Syracuse again for a third straight game. Now, Syracuse fans will remember Ryan Moffitt, Keegan Records especially, who have been so good the last two years. And you may notice no Benny Williams, although he is going to play tonight. His two-game suspension is over. He warmed up. He is super out and defending three-point shooters. Five on the shot clock. Smith separates. Little. Well, what a job Matt Langle has done now in his 13th year. Former Penn Quaker. And there are three more points for his Colgate Raiders. Syracuse has beaten New Hampshire and Canisius this year as J.J. Starling gets his first two. 8-5 Colgate ready to take on Syracuse. Keegan Records, the Patriot League preseason player of the year, gets his own miss and lays it in. And Matt Langle told us in our conversation yesterday that it's on him to get more minutes for Woodard. It can be hard in college basketball now to have two bigs like this Colgate team does. He has, for the most part, had Moffitt and Woodward play opposite each other. Oh, this guy right here, one of the best guards in college basketball, Judah Mintz. And that's what he does right there and finish. And that's why he's a special player. And speaking with Coach Langle Colgate, he said, look, that was a back guys off. He just has that ability to get into the lane. Right down the lane. Nobody stopped him. It's an easy two for Ryan Moffitt. Bell, let's loose. He's got a three. Eight early points for the sophomore from Concord, California. Once again, unmolested right to the bucket. Colgate on top by four, 12 and a half minutes remaining in the first. Syracuse knocked it out of bounds. Brady Cummins has come into the game for Colgate, number one in maroon d3 colgate's missed its last two from long range starling who has been very good on the glass to start the year misses at the other end his ability to get into the paint but when you get your opportunities and i think that's what coach autry has talked to him about that's when you want to let him go with the shot clock at one some more good defense by Copeland tries his second three off the mark again since allowing Syracuse back to within two. Cox? No. Another offensive rebound. Carving out space inside is Sam Thompson for two more. Starling? It goes to the corner. Cuff? No. Offensive rebound for Syracuse. Quadir Copeland lays it in. But I don't think there's any way Coach Autry can keep Copeland off the floor with regular minutes this year. He has developed his game and does a little bit of everything. Gets three more. Cox speeds into the front court. Spotting up for three. He, too, he made it look pretty easy through contact. Cox? Off the mark again. Moffitt with a good look. Colgate looking to build its seven-point lead. Wide open Jalen Cox for three more. Good ball movement from the high post. Moffitt steps through, lays it off the window for two more. And they're just going at that matchup. They have them spaced out, and they're just attacking them. Young man from South Florida, Haitian descent with that rejection. 
good attack and the follow. McLeod's got the layup. Well, something's going to have to change, and it starts right here. Syracuse defense. From a 20-plus point deficit, they have not looked like a tournament team so far here tonight, Malcolm, in game number three of the Red Autry era. Very good offensive team. Uh, you know they're going to shoot the three. They have some guys, including this guy with the ball right here, that can create matchup problems. But to me, the story really has been the rebounding deficit. Uh, Colgate has dominated the glass. A little over 14 minutes to go, but right now they're going to have to string together multiple stops, obviously defensively, and then continue to try to get high-quality looks like this right here. He plans to become a clinical psychologist and has also been chosen as one of 13 student representatives by the university ball player and helping his Raiders to a 16-point lead, but the Orange making a push, trying to make a game of it. There is Woodward with the block shot. And Elite Brown retrieves it, tries to get back defensively. Boy, that's a nice-looking drive by Braden Smith. Well, had a great freshman campaign, all freshmen in the Patriot League, as you take a look at another three, but... Smith, off the side of the iron. Into the corner, Bell for three. Give him three more. 22 points for Chris Bell. And this is a beautiful play by Judah Mintz. Breakdown by Colgate. You see five of ten from beyond the arc. Colgate trying to keep the orange at arm's length. Great drive and reverse by Judah Mintz. It's back to an eight-point game. Bell camps out in the right corner, sitting on his career-high 22 points. In the paint, tough shot, and a chance for three for Mintz. Jump stop jumper. Judah Mintz right here in the paint through contact and one tried to get this thing below seven Colgate has had an answer there's a takeaway by the orange Taylor picks up the dribble and he fires a three off the mark no good Jalen Cox with a rebound the uh, freshman getting an extended run here in the second half and he turns it over Mintz again on the takeaway coast to coast it's a five-point game. Spearhead the comeback for the Orange, doing it again, Malcolm, with his defense. And the one thing Colgate did not do early on in this game, turn it over. Uh, that plays right in the hand. Plenty of time. Got to imagine Judah Mintz to get the ball back in his hands. Well, Bell just fires away for the tie. Records back outside. The three missed by Moffitt. And if you're Judah Mintz, also try to deny him. Don't even let him get the ball. The steal on the inbound. And the dunk. Malik Brown makes it a four-point orange lead. Louis Jacques missed it. Syracuse has it. And so the sophomore from Culpeper, Virginia, Malik Brown... The Raiders, who made eight threes in the first half, have not hit a single three-point shot in the second half. And the Orange. Louis Jacques on cue, cuts the lead in half with a triple, 76-73. And come down to Judah Mintz being able to knock down free throws to ice this game. He's 26 for 31 already this year from the line. Calmly making it a two-possession game. Bell with a career-high 25 points. Mintz with 21 and counting. Goes to the basket. A three ball from the corner by Moffitt is no good. The tip is good with two and a half to go. Records keeps Colgate alive. It will be their ability to come out with energy and try to create turnovers. And that, to me really was the story of this game and create some offensive opportunities off their defense. That'll do it. Colgate will not beat Syracuse for a third time in a row.